Hello Aries and welcome to a very special edition of the Heart Spread reading. This is a Mercury Retrograde Heart Spread. This is for the one you simply can't get out of your head. This is for the one that got away. You could be single, you could be laying next to your lover, or you could be madly in love and realize that everything worked out for the best and you got the right one, but there's something unfinished. I call this a forensic read, forensic terror. We go back and I'm gonna help you settle this. Mercury retrogrades are not meant to hook up with these people. They're meant to think about why, it broke, why we broke up, <laughs> why it didn't work. That's what it's meant to do. Think about what, not, it's not even meant to think about them. Think about us, our mind, our processes, okay? And I did pre-shuffle. I had a really hard time, my wrist about broken. Uh, but trust me, um, so I think we're going to like this reading. I'm going to read you, and this person's going to be in the number two position. I don't really conceive of this necessarily being someone with you. It's for that person you can't get out of your mind. You know, that person you have unresolved stuff with that comes up a lot during Mercury retrograde. By and large, we don't reach out to them, but at some points when something really hits us, you, you think of um, something, something pleasant, something unpleasant. I think something pleasant would make you reach out. You know, we remember those good things. Uh, but I don't see that that way. This is someone, this is psychic. Uh, they're in our psych, uh, so it's important. Um, and let's see what we get here with Aries. It's going to be you, Aries. Ace of Cups. I kind of going to look at this as going back to whenever this relationship started in the past. And you gave them the Ace of Cups. This might have been a first love. You know, aces, first, um, the first love. If I see a page show up, they're really on to something. Um, but in any case, uh, it, they, you gave this person your true cup of love. Uh, I can already see where that might go uh, if you're not with them. And this is the person you're thinking of, Aries. Um, if someone you would think of very strongly. Uh, definitely with the ace of cups, Aries, this is someone you think of as the one this is the one okay three of wands wow so here's the thing when you guys got together aries i'm gonna tell you what was going on for you they were the one they were, you were like head over heels you're like oh my god this is my husband this is my wife this is my soulmate to lock and you just gave them everything and the whole time they were with you they really weren't that into you they were looking at they might be having sex with other people they were looking. You were a stepping stone to them. You were a thing to them. You were uh, an event, uh, a season, you know. Maybe not even a reason. The fire energy wands, it's kind of fast, not that deep. So it's kind of burned through you. But they burned into you too because look, you're thinking of them. Got mine, I know. It doesn't take long to burn a deep gouge into the soul when the fire is very strong. That's what happened here. You can look at the bottom of the deck in this one, guys. Now I'm going to look at how you are feeling about them, Knight of Swords. So definitely on your mind. And then as you came to them, look, you have the Ace of Cups, your heart is all in, and thoughts, communication. You look at how coming at you, coming at you, coming right at you. This is what the Knight of Wands is. It's Mars and Gemini, Mars and Air, coming at you, energy, Aries. You could have a Mars and Gemini, you have Mars and Aquarius, but that could definitely be it. And so um, you would have came on very strong to this person. I would get a sense that now, at some point, maybe now looking back, you still could be feeling a little, uh, you know, chagrin, you know, by how you acted, you know. Um, you, how young you were and how you just gave your heart so, so, it's, uh, this, this brings into it like a, a almost brutal, raw feeling. Like you gave, you, you gave yourself to them in the most brutally raw way. And I, I don't necessarily mean you were brutalized. I mean, you really exposed yourself, you know, to them. This was raw. This was like, here, you rip your chest open. You're like, here's my heart. Take it. And you're just like, you know, at the time, probably glancing over another woman, another guy. Yeah, it's totally closed down to you. So 
I don't think there's someone that you're contacting. I don't think they would answer you. I think even at the time they were closed down to this. Literally, like you're just pouring your soul into them with everything that you got, with everything that you got, and they're just completely, you know, um, just, I don't, you know, this is probably a long time ago, no judgment, but this person's very immature, if that helps. Um, they were uh, an adolescent full of hormones. They didn't really have a clue. I mean, they're not even looking into the relationship, they're just looking in the other direction. You know, with their three of wands. So this is your advice from spirit. Well, of course, it's to move you away from this in your minds and your thoughts. This is coming underneath the Knight of Swords. You know, the Knight of Swords, the Six of Wands, is a very different energy. The Knight of Swords is brave. The Knight of Swords is going to go forward. Go forward. The Knight of Swords does not go backwards. This goes backwards. This moves away. Um, create some kind of distance, um, thoughts. So, you know, this is what Mercury retrogrades are for, I believe, guys. It's give us thoughts, swords, and to go inside and to think about what happened and to get closure. We don't really need the other person to do that. You know, you can get closure if your partner died, Dr. Dead, you know. Um, you don't, you know, a lot of times we tell ourselves, oh, well, we have to have this conversation. Do we really, you know, um, this person here, I'm gonna tell you, like, if you ask this person, what were you thinking? The problem with this person, Aries, they're gonna tell you, it's gonna be boring. They weren't thinking much of anything. Their dick was hard, their panties were wet. They baby wanted to get drunk, wanted to get high, wanted to, uh, you know, uh, Bruce Springsteen, you know, wanted to find out what they got, you know? They were in the throes of full-on adolescence, you know? In some fashion, they're simply doing what they're supposed to do. Wow. Ace of Wands. Now, this is advice for your person here. Um, it's tricky here because this is a retrograde reading. I don't perceive this person to be involved in this at all. Um, but it's kind of like trying to tell you, and maybe I think you would realize this, you know, instead of them looking away, focusing just on everyone else and... You know, if they could just have focused their passion just upon you, because there was passion involved, that was the thing. I mean, a lot of passion, you know, the sex. You might remember the sex being the best ever, ever. You're like, but the sex was the best ever. And it could be a lot of things. Could be you were young. Um, could be it was the best ever, you know. Um, could be something inside of you. That's what you need to walk away from that gets you a little hot when you're not emotionally available there. He's just saying. Because this person here is not emotionally available. They were checked out. You I mean, you must have been fucking a dummy, a sex dummy. You know, there's like, there's no soul in it, you know. You're pouring your soul into like a sex dummy over here, you know. Um, and you want to believe that there was this passion in it. I hope you've experienced this with the soul. It's amazing. Because you can. You might be thinking, like, I'll never experience sex like that. Bullshit. You can. You will. That's what intentions are for. Aries. Wheel of Fortune. This is advice for this relationship as a whole. Here we're not really looking at a relationship. We're looking at this relationship that's in your mind. This theoretical relationship. Here we're trying to get advice from spirit. That could be helpful in some way in dealing with this person. I know how pernicious this is, you know. Um, and it's this is part of the human experience. This implies Jupiter here. Jupiter's now going direct, okay? It's in Aquarius. Look at where it is in your chart, like 22 degrees. And it's going to be a hell of energy going now forward for a while now. It's going to rip through Pisces before it retrogrades next year. And just look for all kinds of good things to happen. So what I get of this, coming between the Ace of Wands and the Six of Swords... It, with the Wheel of Fortune coming here, usually turns in your favor. This is something that could be happening that is uh, beneficial uh, somehow to healing whatever this is going on with you. Um, I think that, you know, really it comes down to ha getting the sexual uh, dynamics that you had in this relationship in your life now and believing that you can have them. 
that you have to kind of walk away. Like it's like spirit can't bring you another person that can give you this kind of energy. If what you're stuck on emotionally, this is manifestation, I'm talking here, you know, if you're stuck on this, you know, because it can't get you this, this is gone. They might be past, they, they're not for you. So, but if that's what you're thinking about, it, what can the universe do? It's like its hands are tied. You know, and the, to, the, the universe is into a swords now. And what can it do? And it wants to bring you the goodies here. This is wanting to bring Jupiter wants you. This is Oprah, just to be clear. And she's saying, I got a car for you, and I got a car for you. And the whole audience gets a car. But you can't get that unless you walk away from this. And flat out, I believe that if you give your heart again, you could, here's what I'm saying. You did nothing wrong. You did right. They just weren't. They really didn't do anything wrong. It's like blaming an animal. It's like blaming a wolf because it eats the caribou. It's the nature of the wolf to eat the caribou. It's horrible, but it's not wrong. Not morally wrong. You know, and so you didn't do anything wrong. It is conceivable that all of this, you could have the same feelings. Go into it with all of your heart. Express it with the knight of swords coming at you. Go at him. Pour yourself at them. It's bullshit. No, I don't want to never do that again. I'm mature now. It's all ego. Fuck all that. You want to do it again. You want romance. You want love. You just don't want this bullshit. But you got to let go of this bullshit because it's going to bring in the goodies. It being Jupiter. It being God. The universe. However you want to look at it. And here comes your person now. Knight of Pentacles. This is meeting that Knight of Swords. So this is going to be an Earth sign. It's going to be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn personality at the center of your heart club and at the outcome here. Um, this is now your person. If you release this person from the past, and I've done this, I swear to God it works. It took a long time. Didn't think I could ever do it. Asked for a lot of help, cut ties, everything I could think of to do. And it just took a couple years to shake it. Um, but the moment I shaked it, here comes for me you know, the right one. And again, I didn't change anything the way I did it. I didn't really change, I just tried to be a better person. I didn't, I'm not gonna change my love style, my love language, how I function. I just kept being me, kept doing me, Knight of Swords, kept going, kept going, kept going, kept coming at you, kept coming at you. And finally now, you get met by another Knight. Now make no mistake, this Earth sign person that's coming in, you might already know them. You're maybe not feeling this Ace of Wands energy with them. You're maybe not thinking you could have this kind of energy you had from the past. I guarantee you will. The Knight of uh, Pentacles here is slow. You're not going to see what they're like in bed till it happens, you know. And they're likely not going to talk about it. They're not sending you dick pics or tit pics or whatever. You know, this person's moving slow. They're looking right at your night. Right at your night here, guys. Uh, so... Let me know what you think about the Mercury Retrograde. Uh, the one you can't get out of your mind, read. Please do hit a like, a thumbs up, share, tell a friend, tell a friend, and do subscribe. I do need your help. Thank you, guys.